I think perhaps the Turners have a genetic disorder. It's five generations of being addicted to fly fishing and, and uh, this river environment. Well, first, I'd say there's a lot of stories about John Turner. When you think of John Turner, you think of conservation. John is a cowboy, and he always will be a cowboy. The Fish and Wildlife Service had a golden era under John Turner. His tenure at the Fish and Wildlife opened up more refuges than Teddy Roosevelt. His legacy is not in the headlines, but I would argue it would be tough to find an American currently that's done more. The Turners came here in the early 1900s. We've been riding horses for 100 years here, and that's the way we visit this country. There are a list of commandments that you live by out here in Wyoming. That was true hard cowboy work, and it was, it was done during long days. There was no bullshit. That's how the ranch and, and this valley was built. The river has been a huge part of our existence. You're embedded in it. It's just part of your psyche. I would say we're an imperfect family, like most families, but we are in a perfect place. <laughs> <laughs>